Hi guys, welcome to US Educate Academy. Thanks for connecting with us. Today in this video, we are going to see how to monetize your WordPress website with htera.com and uh, this is a step by step tutorial. So please follow up and stay tuned until the last moment and follow up all the steps in this tutorial and don't skip or miss anything and uh, so now let's jump into it so i have opened google chrome so now i want to search for atstra.com and uh, this is a global advertising and the best affiliate network and uh, here it shows me that uh, all the payments are transfer uh, transparent and uh, this is for publishers and advertisers and affiliates and uh, this uh, atstera.com website provides the publishers uh, great service and uh, this website is awesome for advertising and uh, how to uh, link our website or WordPress website to Astera is simply by following this step. So now I want to click on sign up and here it will ask me to get start as an advertiser or publisher or an affiliate and I need to get start as a publisher monetize your website or other traffic. So now I'm going to click on get started and as I am having an account already it redirect me to, to my account and uh, this is the atstera.com uh, home page and we can click uh, sign up and uh, we can simply enter the details shown up here I mean the email full name password login and messenger and uh, we can simply enter this and the payment method too and here atstera.com Possess lots of payment methods such as PayPal, WebMoney, Paysum, and Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, and Tron, and ba bank transfer too. And uh, so now uh, I have signed up or login to my publisher account. And uh, this is my publisher account. As you guys can see, this is my dashboard. And uh, first of all, I'll show you the website or the WordPress website which I want to uh, monetize and it's wanalyzer.com and this is a premium blogger website and this website I'm gonna monetize with Adstera ads and uh, so now I'm gonna go to the Adstera dashboard so I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna click on add website and here it will ask me my website's name. So now I'm going to enter wanalyzer.com. It asks my domain name. And I'm going to select the category as, as um, other. And uh, I'm going to remove the uh, campaign such as erotic and uh, alert ads gambling ads I'm gonna place these two ads and uh, I'm gonna keep as it is and it shows me that your CPM value will be high if you allow more ads so now I'm gonna avoid this statement and uh, here I'm gonna click on add so now I'm gonna click on got it so now I'll try to refresh my website and it shows me that my website is approved and I will show you that my website wanalyzer.com is approved so now I am going to simply go to my uh, WordPress website and I am going to click on dashboard and uh, I am going to go to the appearance section and here in my appearance section here it shows me uh, a section named widgets so now I'm gonna click it 
and it shows me my all the widgets and uh, I'm gonna select the main side widget and it's loading as you guys can see so now I'm gonna proceed to the etc and uh, I'm gonna click on websites and I'm gonna click on all codes and uh, as I have not uh, added any codes at Stera is not showing me any code so now I'm gonna click on all codes uh, I'm gonna click on add codes and here I'm gonna select one of the most profitable and the one of the most easiest way to add at Stera ads and the this method is awesome so now I'm gonna click select the native banner ad type uh, which is a great ad type so now I'm gonna click on add and I'm gonna click on got it and it shows me that native banner banner is pending so now I'm gonna refresh this I'm gonna click on all codes and as you guys can see native banner one is active and uh, it shows me that you can place add or you can copy the code code snipe it so now I'm gonna click on uh, the I'm gonna customize the widget layout and I want to select this as uh, as I'm placing my uh, my ads in the sidebar uh, like this uh, I want to place uh, my ads in the one to four or like in, in this shape or in this form which is great so now I'm gonna click on save and uh, I'm gonna copy this code I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna proceed to my widget section or from my appearance to widgets and uh, my widgets so now I have arrived to my widget section and I'm gonna select the main sidebar and it's loading So let's try uh, with one to two. Let's try all the stuffs, and it shows me the available elements in my main sidebar. The live result search is available. So now I'm gonna add a new one or the new block, and I'm gonna search for HTML. And I'm gonna click on custom HTML, and I'm gonna copy this code again and. I'm gonna paste it over here. I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna again copy this and I'm gonna paste it over here. And now I'm gonna click on update. And my sidebar or the my widget is upload updated. So now I'm gonna proceed to my website again. So my sidebar is not showing up because I have disabled it in my uh, customized section. So now I'm gonna proceed to my customize section and I'm gonna and it's loading and I'm gonna click on edit and I'm gonna scroll down and uh, I'm gonna turn on the sidebar which will turn on my sidebar and uh, I'm gonna select from which side to appear the sidebar from this side or this side so now I'm gonna select the this uh, right side bar and I'm gonna see the mobile version too and uh, I'm gonna click on the right side bar and I'm gonna click on publish so now I'm gonna again proceed to my website wanalyzer.com and uh, as you guys can see the Adstera native banner at are appearing and uh, I can just click this and uh, I'll enter to my ads uh, advertisers as you guys can see and uh, here I can uh, this looks little weird that this uh, 
uh, posts are little small so now I'm going to make this uh, two posts per section or two posts per row so now I'm going to click on again customize and uh, I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to make this as uh, two columns and uh, I'm going to again go to my website W analyzer and now as you guys can see this looks pretty good uh, and uh, I'm going to remove this section which says live result search uh, and I'm going to add another uh, banner where I'm going to add another uh, I'm going to remove this title and I'm going to click on update so let's see whether the text is removed yes as you guys can see the text is removed and now I'm going to add more ads to this place and I'm going to increase this ad so now I'm going to make this over here and I'm going to just click on save and when I refresh this will automatically add four ads as you guys can see this is a very very simple process to add ads in Adstera so now let's track, uh, track or let's uh, see the statistics of my earning now how much I earn from this website so now I'm going to click on apply and as you guys can see my revenue is zero dollars but my CPM is 0 0.02 and uh, I have reached two clicks and six impressions and uh, have shown you the exact method to monitor monetize uh, Adstera ads in WordPress so that's it for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Educate Academy YouTube channel for more video tutorials like this. See you in the next one.